County COVID cases top 200. DHS again warns mass gatherings. Sheboygan police investigate bar fight. Special Common Council to elect new president. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. 209 cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Sheboygan County as of today's update from the County Division of Health Services. The numbers released today reflect the incoming cases, recoveries, and reported negatives since Friday because the release are now Monday through Friday only, thus incorporating weekend numbers with the Monday reports and 13 cases are active, but none are hospitalized. Three more persons have recovered from the disease and, 200 and 257 more persons have tested negative, yielding a positive return rate here of 4.8%. By the age group, those 80 and over comp comprise only 10 of the confirmed cases. Ages zero to 19, number is 21. 60 to 79 year olds came down with 44 of the cases. 60 persons were between the ages of 40 and 59, and 74 cases, or about 35%, were from 20 to 39 years old. In Wisconsin, 300, or 539 cases were added Saturday, 457 on Sunday, and another 315 today. Raising the total confirmed instances of COVID-19, to 28,058, and 70, 777 persons in Wisconsin have died from the disease. Were the metrics of the Badger bounce back to be considered, hospital capacity, ability to treat all patients without a crisis standard, and care and numbers of healthcare workers coming down with the coronavirus are all satisfactory. While the trajectories of both flu-like illnesses and COVID-19-like illnesses, as well as the trajectory of the percent of returns coming back positive, are all failing to meet the standards. By all measures, the coronavirus pandemic is not abating, and County Board Chairman Vernon Koch and County Administrator Adam Payne on Friday strongly advised against holding large gatherings. Health and Human Services Director Matt Strittmatter added, we have just surpassed the 100-day mark of responding to this pandemic. And although we have done a remarkable job, this is not the point to ease up. Continuing, now more than ever is the time for keeping strong in our efforts to stop the spread. Those efforts include avoiding mass gatherings, wearing masks, and practicing social distancing when in public washing hands frequently, avoiding touching the face, and stay at home when possible. Those steps, they noted, are difficult to, if not impossible to accomplish in a mass gathering setting, and such settings and gatherings are neither safe nor recommended. There is no projected time frame available as to when this advisory would change. An arrest has been made after a fight at the In the Bag Tavern in Union Avenue in Sheboygan on Sunday night. Police were called to Memorial Hospital shortly before midnight for a 45-year-old man with a cut to the head. He told police he had been talking to another man at the bar throughout the evening, and the two began fighting. Officers located the 35 year old suspect at his home and arrested him. Police had initially been investigating this as a fight between motorcycle club members, but Captain James Wieser now says those reports were unsubstantiated and alcohol consumption is believed to be a played factor. The Sheboygan Common Council met Monday night in a special session and named Ryan Sorensen the new council president. 
One week ago, the council selected Todd Wolf to take over City Administrator Daryl Hofflin, who announced his retirement this spring. Hofflin's last day with the city is Friday, and usually the vice president of the council would move into the role of the president, but Mary Lynn Donahue sent a letter to the city attorney indicating that she did not wish to take the role. Sorensen, who currently serves as Committee of the Whole chairperson, was unanimously named the council president. An election to fill the remainder of Wolf's term as second district alder person will be held during the regular meeting of the Sheboygan Common Council on Monday, July 6th. Mayor Mike Vandersteen set out a call for candidates to submit their letter of interest and a brief resume to City Clerk Meredith Broom by noon Thursday, July 2nd. That District 2 term runs until April of 2022. If you are interested, contact the City Clerk's Office at 459-3361 for more information. With the Independence Day holiday falling on a Saturday this year, there will not be any changes needed for the City of Sheboygan's curbside garbage and recycling schedule. Superintendent of Streets and Sanitation, Jason Blasolia, announced that the only closure will be for the City's Recycling Center on New Jersey Avenue, which will be closed on Friday, July 3rd. A quick check of other village and city websites around the county was unable to find any other changes due to the July 4th holiday. A Cascade man was injured in a rollover crash on Highway 67 in the town of Greenbush on Saturday night. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says that shortly after 8, 10 p.m., they were called to an intersection of 67 and A to find the 38-year-old man trapped inside. Plymouth Jaws responded to extri extricate him from the vehicle and deputies say the car was southbound, crossed the center line, went into the ditch and rolled over. The man was arrested for operating while intoxicated. And finally, the stage was Dark and there were no chairs and blankets Thursday night on Sheboygan's City Green, where concerts of the Levitt Amp series have been held the last several years. But the music was there, virtually, as the John Michael Kohler Arts Center took the event to the online world. The first half of the popular live music series was canceled earlier this year due to the pandemic. And now the John Michael Kohler Arts Center said they have made the difficult decision to cancel the remainder. But last night, the series appeared as a virtual presentation with the stream of last year's appearance by the Lowdown Brass Band. The series from past year's concerts will continue as Thursday nights together at a distance, with the stream available each Thursday from six until eight from jmkac.org but as they say, wait, there's more. According to the Sheboygan Police Department, they and you should watch for surprise pop-up concerts performed aboard the Arts Center's Culinary Arts Center, appearing in neighborhoods on three Thursday nights this summer. Those events will also be streamed live at the Arts Center Facebook page. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.